with Joe an afternoon that, that started so well in a really promising first five or six minutes and subsided pretty quickly. What do you put that down to? You can find out on a big pitch. Um, a lot firstly credit to, to Cobb United, they were brilliant, you know, and you know, we, we couldn't have started any better. We've took the lead where we've we, we said about letting them, you know, play out into an area and then going to lock on there and and try and win the ball back and it's exactly what we've done for the goal we've won it back and we've scored a good goal and then after that it was 85 minutes of absolute annihilation from them to us and they thoroughly deserve to beat us it should have been more than four it should have been more than four one if that was seven or eight one we couldn't have any complaints um just a really really bad day at the office i'm fed up of feeling up at times with this group and then down and and then just it's just sapping so much life out of everyone because they're just just been found out, you know. And look, we'll, we'll regroup and it's a defeat. So we move on to, to next week. Now we train in the week and we get ready for a break, a league cup. You know, we wanted to really target more than six points out of the out of the twelve in October. We've only got six, so we move on to, to next week in the league cup, last sixteen. But um. Yeah, just really disappointed. It was it was a really bad day. I must say we were we were shockingly bad all over the pitch. I can't think of one player who's played well, and um, we got exactly what we deserved and probably got away with it. In the end, it should have been six seven. I couldn't have any complaints if it was. It's the the inconsistency, I guess, that must be so frustrating to go from playing so well last week and and lots of players having really good games to then coming here today and, and again on a three G pitch and, and just not being able to put it together and. It's that, that inconsistency is what's, what's hurting you, really. Inconsistency, because Leicester Devana, you've, you've been allowed to. You know, you've, took, you've gone three, four nil up and, and you're allowed to look pretty and, you know, no-one's really closing you down and, you know, you're allowed to look good. When you're playing against an honest team like that, who work as hard as they can, you know, nothing, nothing in life is ever given to you. You've got to work hard in everything you do. And that's football, that's life, that's work whatever you've got to you've got to work hard and you've got to come through sticky times and and when a team like that wants to go and rat and press the life out of you and not make it easy for you because they've watched us and Ellis was there last week and you, you would have seen if you give these time to play they'll be okay if you go want to get around these and and really mix it up they'll crumble and that's exactly what we've done we've crumbled because they've put us under a lot of pressure and they've they've, they've battered us they've absolutely battered us and fair play to them but from our behalf, it was shocking, it was awful. And that's because these lot love things going their own way. And they love things that they you know they don't have to really work hard for. When you've got to work for things, they've shown what they're about. So disappointing. Is the second half particularly disappointing because even even though there were plenty of chances for them in the first half, a couple of really good saves from Keelan, a couple of missed chances, coming at one all. Uh, and was that really what you felt was the chance to sort of regroup, reset and then try and assert yourself on the second half? Yeah, because what they've given you first half is exactly what they've given second half. They haven't given any more in the second half than what they did first half. All they've done is took the chances. You know, they've they've had three or four good chances in the first half. They haven't scored. They've done exactly the same second half, but they've took up and we've allowed them to do that where we just I said at half time, they can't give you any more than what they have. We can try and give more and we haven't, you know, and, and they've... they've They've given everything they can there for 90 minutes. We've given what we can for four minutes. And that hurts and that's bad. So, yeah, look, you, we're talking straight after this. There's a lot of emotion involved, of course, of it. But, um, yeah, big, big eye open again because just disappointing, really poor. <laughs> it's hard to repeat yourself, but just, just really bad. Um, all over. And we got exactly what we deserved. They were brilliant. Oh. The plus side, you've had a, a lot of changing goal this year, but Keelan Fallows today, particularly in the first half, some some really smart saves to, to keep the score. Well, to keep I was going to say to keep us in it, but to keep the score down for us as, as long as he did, it was uh, an impressive display from him. Yeah, he's good, yeah. Keelan. He's, he's good goalie. Um, you know, he had a good year at Spinks last year. He's, he's been at Tamworth. He's a good goalie, so we're pleased to have him. Um, he can still do more for us. You know, he knows that himself. Had a chat with him there. But without him, that's eight eight one nine one. So he's. He's done all he can, Keelan. He hasn't been protected by 10 players in front of him. So, yeah, he's a good goalie, Keelan. We're, we're pleased to have him, but we've got to be better than that to keep the likes of him because he'll have plenty of interest. So, yeah, he's, he's a fantastic young keeper. He's a great lad, and we're, we're pleased to have him with us. 
I guess now the challenge is to move on from this and, and to make sure that we don't see something like this again next week in the uh, in the League Cup at Lutterworth. Yeah, look, they're probably scratching their head from last from Wednesday when the team up at OB and lose seven two. So these things happen in football. It's how you react to them. You know, you, there's plenty of bad days in football as we as we always know. You know, and that's why you enjoy the good days when they come, but you don't get carried away. You don't go over the top. You, you dwell on, on the bad days and you try and put it right next week. So we've got a break from the league. What a chance to, to try and keep going in the League Cup because we, we have to. There's only the League Cup in the league now that we're playing for. So we've got to try and go there and win. It's a difficult place to go. We know that. But um, we'll do all we can to try and to try and win the game. We just hope we're better than that. You know, if we're not going to win, just make sure we're better than what we've shown there because you know that's not good enough. Well, I apologise to the fans for that because... Although they've only come down the road today to watch, that is nowhere near the standards and expectations that I set of my of my football club, and I take responsibility for that. I've picked the team, I've picked the squad. It's my group of players, so it falls on me. Although the players can do more, I'm the head of this football club in terms of that. So I apologise to them wholeheartedly because that was nowhere near good enough. And all we can do is try and repay their fantastic support by trying to be better next week and that's all we can do so apologies to the fans for that and let's just hope we're better for them next week